Carolyn Sauer is with Business Development with a company called Shop Now, but you got some big branding news that you want to tell us about. We do. We have some great new branding news. So we've recently launched our new brand, Edisey, uh, which is a shelf bow brand. And the reason behind that is because we are really focusing on three major market segments. Uh, rail, which is where we've built up nearly 100 years of history and expertise in DC power. We're also focusing a lot on e-mobility and new energy systems. So Edison is a little bit of a throwback to Thomas Edison, who was the inventor of DC power. Um, and since we're experts in that area, I thought it was a really kind of a fun way to tie in what we're doing in these new markets. And you've got some new products to show us. We do. So we have, uh, we've recently introduced our C303. I've given away all my samples already. Uh, this is one of our smallest contactors because as you know, when you get into vehicles and charging stations, smaller is better, but we still need a lot of power. So CO3 will do that for you. Um, and then this here is our C801. And this is specific to automotive. So anything in our C800 series, uh, we're developing specifically for passenger vehicles to sit inside those battery management systems um, to really be able to connect or disconnect the power for safety. And this is all about electric cars and you're taking advantage of all this technology coming into the market. It is, absolutely. Um, what's really interesting about our products and, and one of the things I found fascinating about Shelpow is the company itself is also very focused on sustainability and new energy. And so they're really not only putting that into the products, um, but we also recently launched our next factory in Velden, Germany which is completely run off of DC power. So it's the first of its kind. It doesn't have to convert AC energy into DC. It's literally run off a DC power grid, which saves about 15% in terms of energy savings. So that's one of the, um, the great advantages. The other is within the products themselves, um, we have kind of a unique know-how because we've been doing this for a really long time, even though it's been on rail, we're kind of you know, saying we're going from rail to road because we're using the same science and engineering behind the products and how we develop them, just trying to make them smaller and keep that high power rating. Um, for example, one of those features is that a lot of times you'll see contactors that are gas encapsulated and they're sealed. Uh, we use a completely different process of magnetic blowout, sometimes in a ceramic arc chamber, and we use contact tips that are made of silverton oxide, which helps mitigate the heat. So everything that we're doing is not to put out the arc, it's to control it. So when we do have arcing, um, it kind of disperses and you're not likely to have any type of thermal event that you might see with other products out there. So again, just really a company that's super focused on safety, reliability, and being able to apply this know-how across multiple segments and markets. It's got to be advantageous to have a technology that works beyond automotive, gives you more scale and, and market presence. It, it is. It's really it's interesting because we do have a lot of business in rail, and I would say that's still probably about 80% of our business in North America. Um, but it's nice because that's still also a growing market for us, and that's going to continue to be, which is why we kept the Shelpow name. Shelpow kind of stands for rail. That's where we're known. Um, but being able to apply that in different markets gives us a lot of opportunities to work with different people, different customers, different needs. We have a design and development group in Germany that actually, um, you know, listens to what is the customer need? Do you need it smaller? Do you need attachment points at a different spot? Do you need a PWM to control it? And they can actually adapt the products we have and generate new products. So it's nice to have a broader portfolio being able to work on material handling, warehouses, um, test bench equipment, really anything. So it's been a lot of fun to kind of learn all of these different industries and where we can be helpful. So back to automotive for a moment. The rate of growth of EVs has slowed down. Do you see that impacting your business or you've got car companies still coming to you saying, we want new technology? Yes and no right? Is that how we answer that? So yeah, we're definitely, we're seeing a slowdown, but because we're newer to automotive, we're not afraid of lower volume projects. And so some of them, those actually lend themselves quite well to working with us. Um, we're still working with a couple of the major OEMs in Detroit and in California. 
um, talking about how we can integrate even a newer product that's not shown here today. Maybe we'll feature that next time. Um, our C803, which is still in development, um, to go into those vehicles and their battery management systems. Got it. Carolyn, thanks so much for the update here at the SAE World Congress. All right. Thanks for having me, John. Thank you.